hello everyone welcome back to my channel welcome back to ERD stitches youtube channel today i'm going to put you through on how to cut and sew this beautiful ba uh, backpack you are seeing here i actually made this bag for four years old child so i'm going to put you through on the cutting and sewing of this ankara backpack but before i continue i want to tell you that i have online classes going on on how to sew school bags and the lunch bags the good news about these uh, online classes is that once you register on any in any of my online classes, you will have access to me. Like some questions that I cannot give you answer here. Uh, once you call me, I will give you answer. If you're having any challenge, we do video call and we do solve it together. So that's why it's important you register. It's not all about watching here. There are things you need to know about bag makers making that we cannot drop here. So if you're interested, WhatsApp me on this number that is showing here. So from my, if you're stopping by for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe. My returning subscribers, thank you very much. So without taking your time, let's get started. Okay, guys, this is the leather I'm using for this video. So the measurement I have is from this point to this point 10 and half from here to here is 13 inches 10 and half inches by 13 inches. So what I did is I've shaped it. I want to show you how I achieve it from this point. I took two and a half inches two and a half inches here then down here I took five inches so what I did is that from these two and a half inches I just created the curve to meet the five inches so now I'm going to cut it out I've already shaped this one so you can flip it over this way to use it to shape the second part this way and use it to shape the second part so that it will be uniform everything will be uniform it for up here for the damp part here i use one inch by um, i measure from here one inch from here one inch i connected it that is how i, sh I got this shape so i'm also going to cut it out i will also fold it over and use it to shape this side Well, I do it this way so that everything will be in uniform. This leather is not of a good quality, so. So the next thing I'm going to do, and I'm going to top stitch my Ankara on it. This is the Ankara fabrics I'm using for it, so. I'll just put my color on top of it this way, then I will sew it. Arrange it very well and sew. I'm done top stitching the Ankara on my leather so I'm going to keep it aside now I'm going to work on the pockets this one is for the inner pocket what I have here is eight and a half inches by by 11 inches 
why this one is for the outer pocket i have eight and a half inches by 13 inches let me first work on this inner pocket i'm going to fold it over this way right side facing each other then i will sew it leaving space where i can open it from because i will let that turn it to the right side from somewhere here to stitch again to turn it to the right side from here I'll turn to the right side So this allowance here, you fold it in and arrange it well. If you, if you have light, you iron it down. But I don't have light now, so I'll work with it this way. Okay guys, I'm done channeling it. I'm done sewing my foam to it. So now, I've cut that lining for it. I'll just place it on my lining and stitch it round. I always like to cut my lining to be bigger than my actual material because this lining we used to misbehave sometimes so when I'm done sewing it I'll trim off the excess lining the excess lining so now I'm going to sew my zipper cloth to it I'll put my zipper cloth to it this way and stitch it right side of my zip cloth is facing the right side of my of my material so I will now sew So I will 
fold it over this way and top stitch it. stitching it this is it now so the next thing that is I'm going to fix my zip head so I'm done fixing the zip head this is what I have so now I'm going to get one of my the front part, uh, panel this is the front panel so I measured from up here I took five inches from up here I took five inches I've already marked the line so I'm going to get this my zip plot. So I'm going to keep it this way. I will make sure that you can notch it if if you want to do yours. You can indicate the middle and notch the zip plot, but I can go like this. So I'll make sure that this my zip cloth is on that five inches line then i will sew it down on the five inches line then i'll start sewing as you saw your range make sure it's on the five inches line I need to move this zip so I'll continue make sure it's on the five inches don't allow it to be seen. So you fold it over this way and top stitch it. Top stitch it round. sewing cut off the excess make sure it's equal on the damp parts here the SS so this is it now my front pocket so now I'm going to get the midpoint fold it over this way to get the midpoint and 
also this place. I'm going to use my piping cord, which is this, to pipe it round. I'll start my piping here. So guys, I'm done piping it round. Don't forget to put your line in when you are piping it round. This is mine. So I'm going to keep this aside. So this is the back lining. You can see I've marked something here. I want to explain to you what I did. From up here, I measured three and a half inches. Then here, I got to the midpoint. So now I'm going to sew this, my inner pocket, to the back lining, which is this. So what I'm going to do is this place that I still have left opening here we face down. It seems I'll go below that 3 inches, 3.5 inches. But before you do that, you have to get the midpoint. Fold it into two this way to get the midpoint. Fold it and get the midpoint. So I'm going to match it midpoint to midpoint. I've stepped below the the three and a half inches. So I'm working with the um, four and a half inches now. So I'm going to sew it down. So I'm going to sew it this way, this way, and this way. So I'm done sewing the inner pocket. This is it now. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get the back leather, which is this. I'll turn this this way. I'll place my back leather on it this way. Then I will pipe it round. I'll use my piping cord and pipe it round. Okay, guys, this is my back now. I'm done with it. Like I said earlier that I will be doing, I will be fixing the handles before I pipe it round. So I've done that and I've piped it round. This is what I have now. So I'm going to keep it aside and work on the gussets. So now I've also notched the midpoint. I've notched all the midpoints. So now I'm going to turn it to the wrong side. I will get my bag. So I will match it midpoint to midpoint. Midpoint to midpoint. I will come down here. I will also match the midpoint down here. Get the midpoint and match it midpoint to midpoint. So, this is it for this one. I will turn it this way, push everything inside this way. I'll bring the second part and put it also midpoint to midpoint. So I'm going to 
sew it round i will turn to this side and also sew it round after sewing it round i will top stitch it at once so i'm done i'm done taping it round this is it so now we are going to open it to the right side So guys, this is it. This is it. And this is it. By the time you put things inside it, the shape will come out very well. See this side? See this side? 